the Romanian CGR AK-47. Let's check it out. Kujir Arms Manufacturing makes the Wasser 10, and it's one of Romanian's best AK-47s. Kujir Arms was actually founded in the 1600s, so they have a long tradition of making quality firearms. So while the CGR is also made in the city of Kujir, it's actually produced by Nova Mudul. And this is actually a commercial version of an AK-47. So it's not necessarily patterned on the standard military versions, but yet it has all the features. One of the things about this particular rifle is it has a forged trunnion. It has a 4140 steel barrel, chrome molly vanadium, and so it gives it a lot of strength, and it's going to give it long life. There are some other things about this rifle that are really cool, but the big plus for this rifle is it's coming in at a more reasonable price. Now these are imported by Century Arms and we really appreciate Century for sending the CGR for this review. The Romanian CGR, again 7.62 by 3.9 which is the traditional AK-47 round. We are seeing a lot of 5.56 AKs that are coming in uh, mainly because the steel cased ammo which has been really the biggest plus for AKs. I mean it was coming in extremely cheap. Uh, with a lot of the imports drying up because of import laws, you know, we're not seeing this quite as much as we were, but we're still getting it, and it is more reasonable than brass-cased ammunition. Uh, one thing about the AK is it was made for your steel-cased ammunition, so it functions well with it. So the first thing let's do is remove our magazine. It does come with one U.S. Palm magazine, and then we have an empty chamber. Uh, these are imported by Century Arms, and they are connected with the Palm Magazine Company. It has the traditional blonde wood, and then we have the polymer grip. Uh, you can get this in a Magpul edition with Magpul furniture. And it has the hinged dust cover, uh, which is crank style, and then we have a Picatinny rail on top to mount optics. Now, one thing a lot of people have been questioning is the dimple here in the receiver. And typically, imported rifles do not have this dimple. Uh, these actually come as a 10-round magazine, and it's a single stack. And so typically when these come into the U.S., this area is milled out to allow for the 30-round magazines. These are, again, made in Romania, and they do have the dimple, which is actually a plus. And so it gives it a little more strength, nice lock-in, uh, not a very long magazine release, but it has a little hook to it where it allows you to grab it and just really pull this out really positively. Safety lever right here on the side. Uh, you're seeing a lot with a notch cut in to hold the bolt open. This one does not have that, but it has a very positive lockup system. Now the CGR does have a forged trunnion. That's really important for strength, for longevity. Uh, it keeps this really solid. It's not a cast trunnion. And the barrel is 16 and a half inches. It is 4140 chrome molly vanadium. Uh, it does have a blue nitride finish on it. Now these are not chrome lined. And a lot of people like the chrome line, but those are really made for shooting corrosive ammunition, which we just don't get anymore. Uh, and so this will be fine. It'll give you good life in the barrel. That does come with a cleaning rod. Uh, and that's one thing you're not seeing with a lot of the AKs now, uh, a lot of the imported AKs. And so this way, especially if you have anything obstruction in the barrel or anything, I love having solid steel cleaning rods. And it fits right inside, and then it just locks down, just like that. It does come with a bayonet lug, and that's one thing that a lot of AKs are not including. And no AK is complete without an AK bayonet, and it locks in 
and we have our slant muzzle brake. Now the slant muzzle brake is really purposeful. It allows the gases to shoot right to the right. And the reason for that is it compensates for the natural movement of the AK-47, which goes to the left. And there is a small little detent right here, which is typical for a lot of your AKs. And then it actually goes in the opposite direction. It has the reverse threads, which is typical for most of your Soviet bloc countries. But we can take this off and then we can put any kind of muzzle brake you want to. But honestly, this works really well. The biggest thing is just remembering which way to turn. Once it locks in, you push down your detent, and then you get it to the right position, just like that. The front sight post has ears, and it does have an adjustable front bladed sight. But here you can see the black nitride of the barrel. I mean, it's very well done, and then you have your standard gas port that comes up. A little closer look of the blonde handguard and the wood dust cover, just that traditional AK color. And we have our standard 1,000 meter rear sight, and again, it is adjustable. And guys, that's extremely optimistic with 7.62 by 3.9, but it looks cool. Now with the Picatinny rail, and it's that crank style because it's hinged here at the front. And so as we bring out our dust cover and we bring it up, it just stays attached. And there's actually a spring load up here that actually keeps it pushed down and just gives it a little more stability. Uh, one thing about this, and the AK, that's one of the banes of the AK-47, is just being able to mount optics. I mean, this does not have the side rail for optics mounting. Uh, they went with that crank style instead. And so you can put some small red dots, different scopes on there, and it gives it a fairly stable platform. Now, it's not locked down, but it's definitely usable. The receiver and the dust cover have an anodized finish on it. The rivets seem to be well done. And here we have our XY markings. Imported by Century Arms, Georgia, Vermont, made in Romania, Nova Modul. And CGR caliber 7.62 by 3.9. Serial number right up here at the top. We have a black polymer grip, and again, the blonde wood with a sling swivel. When it comes to the butt plate, there's no compartment for a cleaning kit, but it does have ridges all the way down, and it is metal. Now it does have a stamped receiver, which is typical for your AKMs. Milled receivers are heavier, uh, they're typically more expensive. Uh, but this is usually what the military uses with the stamped receivers because they're so fast to make and they're less expensive. And this is a one millimeter thick lower receiver. And it's typical for your AK-47, uh, there's no last round bolt hold open. A lot of times you can get followers that'll hold the bolt open, but as soon as you pull the magazine out, the bolt drops. And again, with the safety lever, a lot of times they have the notch and it reacts the same way. Here we have 7.62 by 3.9 on the left and we have 5.56 or 223 on the right. Uh, there's a big debate about these two calibers. You have a heavier bullet going a little bit slower. You have a smaller bullet going really fast. 0.224 inches in diameter while the 7.62 has a 0.312 bullet diameter. Uh, but the big thing about these two calibers, this is pretty hard hitting up close, but when you get to the 5.56, at 400 yards, it drops 22 inches. 7.62 by 3.9 will drop a whopping 44 inches, almost double. And so you just have greater range with the 5.56. Really, the AK-47 is about a 300 yard caliber. I'm not saying one is better than the other, that's just the difference. And most of the countries in the world either use 5.56 or 7.62 by 3.9, and it's pretty evenly matched. All right, let's check the trigger pull action. Take up right here, really nice break. Reset, right there. Trigger pull weight with our Lyman Trigger Gauge and Brown L's. Four pounds, 8.6 ounces. Four pounds, 15.6 ounces. Weight on the CGR, seven pounds, 3.6 ounces. All right, we've got a bunch of Red Army Standard. Uh, they did send some from Century, but we had quite a bit already on hand. And uh, this is still case stuff, but this is right at home in your AK. Really looking forward to really seeing how smooth this one is. Now we took it out to the range, 
Guys, it's an AK-47. It functions, it shoots, it was very reliable. I like this mount. I think it really holds up well. Now, we didn't shoot it with a sight attached because we wanted to shoot it just as it is. As far as the quality of the firearm and the shootability, it has a really nice trigger. It's just got that AK feel and it's got all the same AK controls. The metals they're using in here, uh, the steel, the barrel, the trunnion, uh, just being forged, it just makes it a very strong rifle. Uh, the blonde wood, you know, if that's not your style, they have the synthetic stocks, but uh, US Palm mags, they're very reliable. And, uh, and you've got that pick rail right on top and it's solid. Uh, but one of the things I love about this kind of outside of most of the AKs I've shot is that it just seems to have very little muzzle rise. Just has a slant muzzle brake. So I don't know if they've tuned the gas system just to be more efficient, but um, it just really has a soft shooting feel to it. I mean, it just stays on track and um, Still got your cleaning rod. So, you know, it gives you a lot of the feel of your standard AK, and yet this pick rail gives you an option for red dots, things like that. I mean, guys, it's just that smooth. I mean, it just shoots that, that level, and I love it. And when it came to accuracy, uh, not having a sight on here, we were just relying on the iron sights. So we decided just to take it out to 100 yards and hit some steel. We'll take a look under the hood for disassembly, remove your magazine, check the chamber, gun's empty. Push down on the back of the dust cover, just pull up. And again, this is hinge, so it's not going to come all the way off. But we are going to get it out of the way. Uh, take your recoil spring and your guide rod and push it forward until it comes out of the groove, and then we just pull it loose. And we'll take out our bolt and our bolt carrier, our piston. I mean, this thing <laughs> is massive. Um, one thing I've seen in some, they have relief cuts into this bolt carrier just to lessen the weight, but it makes it really weak. And so I'm glad to see they've strengthened this up. Of course, your bolt comes right out, just one big piece of steel. So one thing about the AK is it's beefy. Now here we have a single hook trigger and we have the coil recoil springs, which are typical for most of your AK-47s. One thing we did notice with the trigger is we weren't getting a lot of trigger slap. And that's one of the things about some of the triggers, they'll pop back on your hand and it'll sting. And this was pretty smooth to shoot. You have your dust cover retaining pin right here. We're just gonna take the bolt carrier and pop this up. It is pretty stiff. Once we line it up, we can remove our gas port cover. It does have the spring and just typical AK. Line it up on the front of your gas port, drop it down, and then once it's seated, then just lock down the lever and this will hold it into place. Take our bolt carrier, drop our bolt right back into place. Go ahead and put it into the receiver and it drops down at the back. So it locks in and then it glides on rails. Next, take your recoil spring and guide rod, slip it in, get it forward and then it comes under and it lines up right here and locks into place. Bring down your dust cover, snap it, Now the retail price on the CGR is $954.99. Uh, these I've seen running around the $740 range at its lowest point. And so market price is going to be at different levels, but that really gets the AK-47 down to a very doable price. Uh, we're seeing them getting up to the $900,000 range. And there's definitely a lot of additional quality and features on those guns. A lot of those are made for military guns. And you know, it's just according to what you're looking for. And I think the reason why they came out with the CGR is to give you a commercial AK for a more reasonable price for those guys who just like to take out an AK and experience it. If you're really into the high dollar AK stuff, uh, and those are more military based, 
Uh, this being a commercial model, it's just gonna have a few differences. But with the forged barrel, with the forged trunnion, the 4140 steel barrel, the bayonet lug and the cleaning rod, which is a plus, uh, and the beautiful wood furniture. I mean, overall, this is a very nice AK for the money. And getting it down to a very reasonable price, it just makes it more affordable. And then you can purchase your AK bayonet with the scabbard and you're good to go. So guys, if you're looking for an AK and you don't want to spend top dollar, you just want something, a good shooter you can take out to the range that has a lot of quality features, and a lot of strength. Uh, the CGR is definitely one to take a look at. And while it's not necessarily a military AK-47, uh, it has all the parts compatibility. There are a lot of things about this rifle that really upgrade it. And so the CGR, great shooting rifle, very reliable. And we really appreciate Century Arms for sending the CGR for this review. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. just got a lot of feature head. I'm gonna go into all that in a minute. <laughs> Type steels they're using, that sun coming out and just shine. <laughs> Come on, sun. Sun! Bring down your dust cover, knock it into place. The CGR is also made in the city of Kujir, but it's made by Nova Mudella. Mudella, Madul, is it Madul, is it what? what is it?